Credit Corps is a fulfillment of a campaign promise that President Tinubu made. He has been quite um, passionate about this issue of Nigerians having access to a better quality of life by accessing credit to purchase things that make their lives make their lives better. And that includes things like homes, vehicles, electronics, just life lifestyle, quality lifestyle things. And this is not an invention of Nigeria at all. Consumer credit is, has been here for several centuries. And you, just, you, you, you would know that in economies that have gotten this right, people don't pay for things cash and carry. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have credit cards, they have access to credit. I, I, I tell this story a lot about how even myself as a young university student, I had a credit card that was just $1,000. And as I was paying up, using that credit card to buy things, clothing, food, books, things of that nature, I was building a credit history and a credit score because there was a system that worked. I left Nigeria to go to university and spend some time there and came back. But that system worked so well. I mean, the system of the country that even with that $1,000 credit card where I'd pay, I'd pay that back every single month for four years, I built a high credit history and a high credit score that as a graduate, I went a couple of weeks after graduation. I had gotten a job, but I hadn't started my job. A couple of weeks after graduation, I walked to a Toyota dealership, and I walked out with a brand new Toyota car because of my credit history and my credit score. And that is the reality of most people in economies that have gotten this right. By accessing capital on an ongoing basis and being responsible with credit, you build a history you build a track record that continues to unlock access to more and more capital. Imagine me at the time, I didn't, I mean, I, I went down with no down payments, and I used that car as a young college graduate, university graduate who was now working, and then had just, a, so I was now became somebody who had a car. I didn't have to wait till for 10 years or five years when I could afford it to cash and carry. The reality of people like the civil, the civil service today, and um, back to some questions, conversation we were having earlier before the program started, Civil servants need, people need 20 million naira, 30 million naira, 15 million naira at a minimum to buy a house. And in the expressions of interest that we just went through, the civil servants overwhelmingly said they want to buy homes. But how many civil servants do they have 20 million naira, 15 million naira down payment? Which brings it back to, but if they have access to credit, they can actually get that home now, not when they are 60, when they have saved up all their lives. You can get a home now, at 35 and live for 25 years with, as a person who has had a home, that is a much higher quality of life than to save Ikao, just struggle until you are 60, to have saved all your life, to then buy a home only to, to be in sort of the, the, I would say terminal, but twilight phase of your life. But 